Good day, YouTubers. Welcome back to my channel. Let's get right into it. It is the Queen's 96th birthday. So happy birthday, uh, Queen Elizabeth. This is from Clarence House, Charles. He put up four pictures. That's him as a boy uh, with the Queen. Uh, there they are more recently. And Charles and the Queen. And here's from Kensington Royal. This is uh, Kate and the Queen. So let's get right down to it. So Harry did a an interview with Hoda, Hoda Kotb, and he made several statements. One is that he's making sure the Queen is protected and has the right people around her. Uh, number one, Harry made it out like he is very personally involved with her. How is he protecting her exactly? I mean, all he does is attack her. He's making allegations of racism, uh, unfairness, that Megan was being treated unfairly. Uh, who are the, and the right people are around her. Who are the wrong people? Well, the people around her are Charles and William. Okay, so that's going to come up later. Uh, Harry and Meghan could be told by Netflix to avoid the Jubilee if Andrew attends. Okay, so they're setting up not coming to the Jubilee. Did the Queen invite them to the Jubilee? I did read on this prior, prior to this, and the Queen has extended the invitation for the Jubilee. Okay, that doesn't mean they're going to come because they're keep, they keep demanding worldwide protection as... VIPs and they're undeserving of it. And working royals don't even get this. Several of the working royals, they only get uh, protection while they're working and not the rest of the time, which seems completely useless to me. Let's just look at these headlines real quick. Harry refused to admit he misses his father, Prince Charles, or his brother, William. I'm focusing on my family. Harry admits he misses his family but refuses to talk about William or Charles. Prince Harry refuses to show even the thinnest hint of affection for Charles and William. So let's take a look at those relationships. This is the same thing. And Harry says California is his home for the time being. And when he delivered that statement, the look on his face, there were all kinds of body language cues that he was not terribly happy. So let's take a look at this Hoda Kotb interview and what's going on here. Good day, YouTubers. Welcome back to my channel. Time for a spot of royalty. I'm Joseph Magi, author of Playing Card Divination, Fortune Telling, The Magi Method. You can find the book worldwide on Amazon and Kindle and paperback versions. Find the full color card deck used here on Etsy slash Magi Method. Many thanks to the generous folks who buy me a cup of tea. I'm going to flash a picture up. The ego has landed, and they pretty much hit all of it. Wazak, who fled $5,000 to U.S., says he is protecting the queen. Yep, that's number one. He promises to make sure she has all the right people around her, not Charles and William, uh, but he hints he won't come to her jubilee, then reveals his true home is no longer the UK, but the United States. And I'm going to flash another picture up. Look how unhappy Harry looks with Meghan at Invictus. What was that about? Does Harry actually delusionally believe that he is protecting the Queen, or is just this just twisting the narrative again? He's just twisting things around so that he sound, you know, so that he and Meghan can be the perpetual victims, you know, and he's the hero. He's the hero of this story. Does he actually believe this nonsense that he is protecting the Queen somehow? Because all he's doing is attacking the Queen. Or is it just intentional twist, word twisting? Because people will do that. Player making a play. Oh. Oh, Vale. Look at that. Interesting cards. Two hearts. Okay. Wants to be beloved. Interesting. All right, so does he believe it? Player making a play, 10 spades, crossing a disaster and secret. So 21, 28, seven spades twice. 
He does not believe this. No, he's trying to be beloved by everybody. He's trying to keep the foundation and he feels that he has to do this like right now. Uh, Jacob's Ladder just rolling the ball forward. Olive Tree. I Can you hear my dog barking and barking and barking? So, all right. Oh, I had to take a break to deal with my dog. He's trying to keep, uh, you know, the... People and events is family coffin. He's afraid it's all ending for him. So he feels that his relationship with his family is in real crisis. Yeah, and he's just trying to keep that together. And he feels that he needs to act now because he has this book coming out. And surely they're reacting in advance to this terrible book coming out. And so he's staying away. Uh, he's, you know, ugh. So he, he, I think Harry is really beginning to be realize how bad his situation is with his family. But he's still playing the blame game. Oh, you know, he's got, she's got the wrong people around her. So let's take a look at that. So he's making sure the queen is protected and has the right people around her. Are Charles and William the wrong people? Charles and William. Are Charles and William the wrong people? Are Charles and William the wrong people? Because he's keeping the right, he wants to keep the right people around, around the queen. Charles. Interesting. <laughs> William. Are Charles and William the wrong people? Oh, wow, look at that. Yeah, extra one. Outside circumstance, the extra one fell. So are Charles and William the wrong people? William is obviously the wrong person at this point. Scapegoat, scourge, and right now, Four Leaf Clover, right now, Harry is having a big conflict with William. He is focusing on William as the center of the conflict. Uh, Charles is showing as the peacemaker, family, royal family, inheritance, and cup overflowing. He's, he's trying to reconcile everyone. Uh, and this extra card fell out, so secrets in the foundation. So Harry's coming out with his new book, and... This is the outside finger of God. This is something that's coming in. And William is really, really upset about it. And Charles is trying to be the peacemaker. And Charles is probably going to get the brunt of the attack here. Uh, there's no good way to, to attack people and write uh, a slander piece on them. So I, I don't, no matter what anybody says, I don't see how this can turn out well for Harry, but he's really upset at William right now. So for now, Harry's new home is Montecito. He does not look happy. He did not look happy when he said this. Is he happy in Montecito? He said people were very welcoming of him in California. He feels right at home. He's lost everything. Okay, he may as well be homeless, wandering the streets of Beverly Hills looking, eating out of trash cans. So is Harry happy in Montecito? Because Harry and Meghan did not look happy together. Uh, I don't know why she came to Invictus. Harry's not involved in the, uh, in the Spotify. That's all Meghan. So why is she, you know, barging in on Harry's Netflix? Okay, leave him alone. And when she left, he looked a lot happier. So is Harry happy in Montecito? Son, woman, foundation. Oh, it's all going to be underneath. Oh, look at that. Oh, extra card because my fingers are dry. Extra cards keep falling out. All right, so on the surface, they it's like Will and Jada Smith. Okay, Will and Jada Pinkett Smith. They want you to believe everything's wonderful. And so on the surface, everything is beautiful. 
Okay, these are, it's all red on the surface, and Megan is the center. Of course she is. Megan is the center. Okay, but there's been big changes in feelings. The cup overflowing, these, ten hearts is the ultimate feeling card. So big changes in the way they feel about each other. Okay, and so if you're with a narcissist, they're wearing a mask. And like Ellen DeGeneres, her whole brand was kindness. But behind the scenes, she's the meanest person in Hollywood. You can't keep the mask on all the time. And if Megan is a narcissist, then she's not able to keep the mask on. She's going to be throwing tea at people. She's going to be screaming at people. She's going to be, uh, you know, doing terrible things to people because you... There has to be a pressure release valve to take the mask off. And that's what's going on behind the scenes. So snake, veil, on an ongoing basis, and the feelings have changed. So she's just horrible behind the scenes. That's what these cards are saying. She is like the devil on roller skates behind the scenes, but they keep it all hidden and everything is perfect and Megan is the star uh, on the surface. So... Yeah, pretty bad. Let's see, 12, 22, 26, plus 12, 36, 38. So 10 diamonds, 10 diamonds, the foundation. Yep. So the things are just changing between them. They're just not happy uh, like they were. They, You know, Megan's not able to keep the mask on. All the time, just like anybody, anybody in that situation, they're not just not able to keep the mask on. Let's look at Harry and Meghan. Let's look at their relationship. Let's see if there's some uh, infidelity. I mean, Meghan, if she's truly a narcissist, she's lining up Mr. Next. And already she's always looking for Mr. Next because all of this is temporary and she's just using you and throwing you away. Even And there's no such thing as marriage for a narcissist. So if that's the case, we might see that in the cards. Harry uh, might be getting drunk and having small infidelities, but no infidelity is small. So let's look at Harry and Meghan. What's going on over there? Uh, because it doesn't seem to be going well. Harry. Okay, Meghan. Oh, devil and angel. Oh, and Incubus Succubus. Okay. All right. So uh, in previous readings, I saw Harry hanging on for dear life. He really wants to make this marriage work. It's all about, you know, being married. He made a commitment. He's going to stick to it. Megan, on the other hand, not so much. But Harry's the one hanging on and trying to make it work. So are we going to see that here? Star Bethlehem. The future is open, reacting to circumstances, and he's all about the family and relationship. 13 and 18, five diamonds on an ongoing basis. So Harry is absolutely committed. There's no shadow of infidelity here. Nothing showing here. What's showing with Megan? She's showing as a devil in the middle. You know, rotten at the core. Incubus succubus. Really selfish, really rotten. There's no more selfish card than the devil. The devil is the ultimate selfish card, but Incubus Succubus is the selfishness card. Six is our relationship, okay? And six spades is a bad relationship, okay? So she's an angel, but she's just, she's really selfish and she's really nasty and the devil will do anything. 22, 28, seven spades, but she keeps it all hidden. She keeps it all to herself, manifesting a transformation. So on the surface, everything is fine, but behind closed doors, it's beyond difficult, and it's showing in Harry's face, okay? At the Invictus Games, it's really clearly showing, like, a lot. Uh, and I, he's starting to break down, but his resolve has not broken down. He's really sticking with Megan. Uh, but he's... She, a true narcissist is going to destroy him and discard him and leave him a broken wreck. And I think that's what's happening. And Harry needs to get out before it's too late, before there's nothing left of him. So what did we see? So 
Does Harry actually delusionally believe that he's protecting the Queen? No. He sees that the situation with his family is so awful, uh, and, and he's afraid he's going to like get kicked out of the family. And so he's, he's making these moves. That's why he's saying that he's protecting the Queen. He's, he's, his words are saying that he's on the Queen's side because no one in the family is believing it, particularly Will. Who are the wrong people around the Queen, Charles or William? William is, has had enough of Harry. Okay, and if William has had enough, then Kate has had enough because they're really good as a team. They work together as a team, which a married couple must do. So Kate is going to walk with William. She might temper him a little bit, but she's walking with William, and William is really angry at Harry right now. Charles is trying to be the peacemaker. Uh, is Harry happy in his new home? Uh, again, on the surface, everything is great, but beneath the surface, no, Megan is a problem. And so then I looked deeper at Harry and Megan, and Harry is unbroken, okay? He's, he's unbroken, and he's still committed to this marriage, and they're trying to transform it again. But if it's all work and no play and all fighting and it's all terrible all the time, goodness gracious, that's not working. I've been in that relationship just just, uh, you know, leave town. I <laughs> mean, that's how I feel about it. Uh, anyway, I'm Joseph Magi, author of Playing Card Divination, Fortune Telling the Magi Method. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment.